Hi, this is Rory Kaplan, and welcome to my retreat studio off the bedroom here. And this is where I'm able to create, write music, um, mix surround pieces, and, and just enjoy music again with my AWS 900 Plus board. I chose the AWS 900 Plus for several reasons, and, and one was the convenience of having great mic pre's on board. Having EQ that was very usable and actually wonderful, having the G series and E series EQ. Having onboard compressor and automation and total recall. And the other great thing, especially for me, having all the keyboards and everything I use and drum machines and things just for writing, you know, I like to monitor everything at once. I like to have access. I don't want to sit there and unplug two modules into here and do this and that. So I like to have everything available. So SSL also had their XL racks. And I've got 58 channels of um, um, monitor channels, which has a single cable going right to the 900 board. It goes to my mix bus or stereo bus um, um, or record bus. And, and it shows up on my patch bay and I can do whatever. I mean, it's so flexible that's like, this is exactly what I need. What I like most about the AWS 900 Plus board, um, that's a big question because there isn't anything I don't like about it. So I'd have to go to size because there's so much packed in it and, and I don't have to have like 10 feet of board. But then there's the actual, you know, bottom line sound. And, and sound is, is, at the end of the day, what we all look for. You know, we're all trying to, to, to maintain our, our um, um, integrity, where everyone's going MP3, some of us are trying to hang on to quality audio and go 96K or 192, and, and I can really accomplish a lot on this board sonically. And then there's the ease of, of mixing and, and recall. I mean, the list goes on. I, I, I don't, there isn't a thing about the board I don't like. I do several things, and, and mainly selfish things like writing. Like, I love writing in here, and so my writing continues here. Um, my son is an up-and-coming artist, and he's doing very well, so I've been recording, cataloging all his music in here. But um, I also get projects where friends are doing commercials or film tracks and stuff, and they, they want me to add my flair to it, whatever, playing-wise, keyboard-wise, or guitar. Not so much guitar, but really more keyboard stuff. And, and so I'll get their hard drive in here, um, and I'll you know, put up on the board there, and then I just dial in my keyboards and, and lay tracks over it, give them back their drive, and it's just as a, it's really beautiful. I don't have to spend the kind of money I would have had to do. Well, I'm spending the money having this gear here, but, you know, um, for my own home purposes, to not have to, to rent, you know, a, a two grand a day room just to trans do some keyboard parts is a real cost-effective thing. Part of the board that's made life easier for me and, and much better for me is, is, is you know, is, a, is just being a songwriter from that hat, is that um, I don't have to dig 50 layers into a menu screen to figure out what I want to do. For me, it's like I, I just have to be able to push a button and play. And if it's harder than that, then I'm not focusing on the music. And what the board has allowed me to do is just, just systematically like set it up so that all I do is turn it on, put my faders forward, and I'm set. And the board has, I mean, the board's had a huge impact on the sound for me because I don't have to rely on a lot of outboard gear to compensate for its shortcomings. And on other boards, I would have to seriously EQ things um, or get warmth out of it to get what I want. And, and before I even set up all the outboard gear in here, one of the first things I had to do uh, is producer David Tickle had a film that he was producing. It was a Rick James uh, thing he was doing. And he asked me to write a cue for it. And the board was just delivered, just out of the box. Um, I was still in quarter inch mode before the wiring was done in the studio. And I took all the keyboards, went directly into the board, and, and played through my drum machine sequencer so I could do a sequence at least. Um, and I just remember putting the faders up without EQ, just the mic pre's on. Um, and there was this warmth, and it was like, wait a minute, you know, it, the other boards, I had to really put tons of outboard gear on this thing to get there, and all I did was put the faders up, and the song was there, and I, I wound up making MP3 files to send them to Dave, and he goes, brilliant, done. And I went, wait a minute, I didn't sit there and engineer this for five days, I just put it up and sent it to him, and he said it turned out great. 
And, and that was the test for me. When you think about an SSL board and you're a homeowner and you want to do a studio at home, it used to be you wanted to get a, you know, a J-series or K-series or 9K-series you know, nine board. You were looking at a lot of money. You know, and rightfully so. I mean, these are these are expensive, you know, boards with serious cooling involved, and so on and so forth, and maintenance guys, and the whole bit. So it was an adventure, and and, and you had to have a full studio to do something like that, or have a very very wealthy person who who had nothing else to do. You know, and and it was just, I don't know, it was just amazing that the board had all the functions that the nine K board had, to a certain degree had recall, had automation, had the mic prees, and, and could fit in my house. But for me to do this at home, you know, I'm still a kid. It's like, I still feel like I'm 12 years old and my dad just bought me my first guitar, you know. So that's what the board means to me. The simplicity of this board is that it's a great board. You plug something into it, it works. You mix it, it sounds great. You want to go back and update it, you recall it, you, you put it in that you know, I want to add that acoustic guitar instead of electric guitar, fix, done, save, and, and, I'm, and it's done. And I'm not, I'm not sitting at the board for 10 hours trying to figure out how to save it anymore, you know, and, and all, the, all these things that, that were driving me nuts. So at this point with the board, it's just, you know, it does exactly what I want it to do.